The Fritzl case emerged in April 2008 when a 42-year-old woman, Elizabeth Fritzl, born 6 April 1966, told police in the town of Amstetten, Austria, that she had been held captive for 24 years in a concealed corridor part of the basement area of the large family house by her father, Joseph Fritzl, born 9 April 1935, and that Fritzl had physically assaulted, sexually abused, and raped her numerous times during her imprisonment. The abuse by her father resulted in the birth of seven children in one miscarriage, four of the children joined their mother in captivity, and three were raised by Joseph and his wife Rosemary Fritzl and reported as foundlings. Three of the children were imprisoned with their mother Elizabeth, 19-year-old daughter Kirsten and son Stefan, 18, and Felix, 5. Another, Michael, died of respiratory problems three days after birth, having been deprived of all medical help. His body was incinerated by Joseph Fritzl on his property. The three other children were raised by Fritzl and his wife Rosemary in the upstairs home. Fritzl claimed that he had discovered the children outside his house as foundlings. Lisa nine months in 1993, Monica 10 months in 1994, and Alexander at 15 months in 1997. When eldest daughter Kirsten became seriously ill, Joseph acceded to Elizabeth's pleas to take her to a hospital, triggering a series of events that eventually led to their discovery. Joseph Fritzl, aged 73, was arrested on 26 April 2008 on suspicion of serious crimes against family members and went on trial in St. Paulton, Austria on March 16, 2009 he was charged with incest, rape, coercion, false imprisonment, enslavement and the negligent homicide of the infant Michael after a four-day trial from which the public and the media were largely excluded, he was sentenced to life imprisonment.